Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks Podcast Toy Reviews. With you today is your old buddy, Uncle BJ, and uh, we're going to look at a figure that I just got in, and it is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Dreadnought Ripper. Now, uh, I'm very happy to see that Hasbro is knocking out the rest of the uh, the Dreadnoughts team. And uh, right as I uh, got this box out of the other mailing box, I noticed he has a little, little drum set in the background, kind of a kind of a cool nod to a Cold Slither, if you know, you know. And uh, he's even got some some crushed up grape soda cans on the floor that he uh, he drank. Was Ripper the drummer in Cold Slither? I think he was. Anyway, let's take a look at him. Comes in the uh, good old box. You know, you know, I, I talk a lot of hate about these kind of, you know, boxes that you can't see the figure inside. But you know what? If that's what we got to have, then at least they put some cool artwork on there. So I got to give them that. Pretty cool picture of Ripper. He is 102. And uh, some, I like they're doing little close-ups like, dude, check out his tattoos. Check out his little, little earring there. It's pretty cool. And it shows what he comes with. Some yada yada, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you can scan this and it'll take you to the uh, Dreadnought Trading Camp in uh, the Everglades. Not really, but that'd be cool, wouldn't it? And uh, anyway... There is Ripper in his box, and let's rip this bad boy out of there. What do you say? Right. He has a Cobra logo on his foot locker, not the Dreadnought symbol, which would have been cool. He is 102. Cobra. And uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, what's in here. Probably some pretty cool stuff. Alright. The obligatory piece of paper that I always throw away. And nothing in here. See ya. It comes with a good amount of goodies. And his little Dreadnought MRE pouch. Alright. Let's go. Throw away any knives or grenades or anything. Alright, get out of here. And, uh, yeah, alright, he comes with his a cool little little knife there with a, uh, that doubles as a a brass knuckles. I think that's what you call that. Looks pretty cool. And uh, I remember this being on his uh, chest, but you never could take it out of his his uh, little scabbard there. All right, and that looks like a magazine. It is uh, red glasses. I guess they're sunglasses. That would hurt my head if I had red sunglasses. But you know, it was the '80s. And he comes with a very unique take on his um, jaws of life, which I think is what this is called. Which you you know rip stuff out of vehicles you know if somebody was trapped in a, a burning car a fireman could use this to uh, you know rip the door off if they had to uh you know knowing ripper he's a bad guy he would probably rip somebody's leg off with this thing and uh it looks like uh you know the the old one the old one the original uh toy was just it looked more like a pile driver or something. This looks like they've incorporated, uh, you know, some industrial tool that would uh, be on the shelf of Home Depot 20 years from now. Kind of like a leaf blower and a arm ripper offer. All right, and he comes with a pistol which has a, a knife on the end of it and it's, it's kind of it's funny it kind of looks like the mandalorian's blaster but it's not and sealed up in here which i like how they do that kind of keeps your 
guns from getting wonky. And I think, you know, I, I gotta say, after looking at Hawk and then looking at this guy, uh, I think they've heard our complaints about stuff being all wonky coming out of the box, all wiggly, woggly, sloppy. Because uh, the weapons are considerably sturdier here recently, which is cool. But anyway, he comes with his rifle with the stabby, pokey, ouch thing on the end of it, which is very similar to uh, what his original action figure looked like. And I do apologize, I won't be comparing... Uh, his original figure today because I couldn't find him. Seems like I can always find the Joes, but all the Cobras are somewhere hidden in the swamp, uh, eating little chocolate donuts and uh, drinking grape soda. Anyway, let's see. How does that go? It's so tiny. Uncle BJ needs to put his spectacles on. I think that goes in now, like, like that. Nope. Oh. Did I look right? Yeah, that's right. That's good enough. Anyway, let's get Ripper out of the box. What do you say? Alright. There he is. And he comes in this little uh, coffin shaped thing of a bobber. And, uh,. He's got some good, I can already tell just from first glance, he's got some great detail on this guy, some good paint, um, very good sculpting, and, you know, fa that face sculpt has a lot of personality, but he's just like, crikey, what do we have here now, what's all this, anyway, my horrible ripper impression, let me rip him out. You get to see the pretty cool little artwork. I do like this artwork they put in here. Somebody is probably getting underpaid to do this. But whoever you are, we appreciate you, buddy. All right. And now here he is. Let's get his feet combobulated. And uh, I have to put his sunglasses on because he doesn't look great right without them. I mean, he looks right, but not not really. Okay. Now, this is a great take on Ripper. He uh, really has a lot of personality coming through. Uh, you know, the whole 80s bad guy, thug, biker gang kind of, you know... Uh, that any action hero would, would beat up uh, in a movie because they're trying to take some kid's lunch money or kidnap a senator, who knows. Anyway, he looks pretty awesome. He's got uh, some pretty cool tattoos. Very good detail in that. I can't remember if, uh, and, you know, it's like a little bear claw ripping Ripping through his arm. Ouch. This mohawk is done up very nicely. Very realistic looking. And, um, yep, yeah, there's his back. And uh, he's got another little tattoo there. Let's see if I can get that in there. There we are. It's like a little Grim Reaper or something. And he's got a little, uh, little razor blade earring there. Ouch. That would hurt if you. You're riding your motorcycle down the highway at lightning speed and that pokes you in the side of your neck. That wouldn't feel too good, would it? All right, let's put his gun in here. And he's very stiff from coming out of the packaging. And a lot of times when you get a new figure, you gotta give it a little time to breathe, you know? It's like opening up a bottle of wine, you know? You just gotta pull the cork off and let it sit for a little bit. And I do want to put his knife in here. And it does fit. Yep, sure does. And he has a holster there for his pistol. And he looks cool. Oops. And he released his magazine, which we don't worry about that. 
Anyway, again, gotta love that face. Looks like he's about to maybe spit or something. And uh, there he is. Yeah, Ripper, looks really good. Let's do a couple quick comparisons and, uh, and I'll stop bothering you guys for today. Um, here he is next to Zartan, his boss. And uh, here he is next to his old buddy Buzzer, which they were uh, two of the original three Dreadnoughts. Uh, we're just waiting on a torch now, which I assume we'll get pretty soon. But it's cool to slowly get the gang together, you know what I mean? Get them all in one spot. And there is Zorana, Zartan's sister. Which, you know, she's technically part of the Dreadnought gang. And there they are. I think they look great together. And uh, it's a good figure, man. I really love... Uh, the direction the classified line is going in because originally you know the first wave and i know i'm beating a dead horse here but you know they, they didn't look that great kind of wasn't what we wanted they were based on some video game that like five people knew about and uh it, nobody nobody thought it was cool so uh i mean you know it was cool but it wasn't what we wanted there he is next to uh big daddy paz Vizla. There he is next to a Motu Skeleton Warrior. There he is next to a Crimson Guard. And let's see. There he is next to Captain Rex. And you can see that, you know, when something is generally a six inch line, they, they don't always perfectly scale with other six inch lines, and that's fine. Not everybody's the same height. And there he is with Indiana. And, uh, let's see. Um, again, I'm sorry I don't have his, um, original figure out here, but let's see. Who do I have for another comparison? Let's put him. Here is a Star Wars Vintage Collection Biker Scout. Uh, let's see. An ARC Trooper. And, uh, yeah, I, seems to be I put away all my other Joes. Sorry about that. Uh, there he is with, uh, little wee Ahsoka. With a snake around her leg. But, so you get it. Scale. Um, oh, we'll put his, his compadres back up here with him. And there he is. So, Cobra Dreadnought Ripper. What do you guys think? Did you pick him up? You dig this guy? I do. I think he's pretty cool. And I'm very glad I got him. And uh, Amazon did a great job getting him to me. Oh, I apologize. I didn't get it from Amazon. I got it from Big Bad Toys tomorrow. But uh, anyway, that's another story. And I'll let you guys get out of here. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. Leave me a comment. And uh, till next time, we'll see ya.